My first guest, one of the biggest martial arts stars in the world. His latest film, Unleashed, opens next Friday. Let's take a look. Gam. Oh my God! Please welcome Jet Li! You are the fastest I've ever seen in a, in, in a fight, in a martial arts fight. That is incredible. And some of those moves, in that clip, you hit a guy's fist with your head. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Because I played a character, he's called a Danny. Right. He's like a dog. He's like, he, in the he, beginning. Right, in he's like beginning. a dog, he's like a mad dog who just knows how to fight. Yeah, he only know how to hurt people. But right. uh, later on, through uh, Morgan Freeman's character, through the music, right. he starts understanding life. Morgan Freeman's life. character comes in and helps him sort of learn more. But you know, I, I, I identify with that character. I, too, am a ferocious, destructive machine. <laughs> Look into my eyes. You can see it, can't you? Yeah. OK. Uh, <laughs> I need some Visine, yeah. Um, you have, uh, you know, you have a secret of self-defense, and it's it's interesting. It's I heard that you had a secret of self-defense, and I was expecting something about a move or something. And you said it's an attitude is your secret to self-defense. Just a smile. A smile. Yeah, a smile to people because when you hurt people, they will revenge, and then you fight again, 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 never stop. So right. just smile, make people happy, then we will stop work. <laughs> I hate to disagree with you, Jet Li, <laughs> but all through high school, I tried the smiling at people approach, and I got hammered, you know? <laughs> I wish I'd had a few of your moves. Uh, there is a style, uh, a fighting style, and I, I'm gonna mispronounce it, I'm sure. It's a Tsui Chuen. Yeah. It's which, a, is a, which is the, uh, it's called the drunken style. Yes, drunk style. Wh Just... why, why do they call it drunk style of fighting? Because we create as a movement, uh, like a physical, like a drunk guy, you know, right. physically. But mentally, it's very clear. But what would be the advantage of acting like a drunk person in a fight? I, I obviously, I don't understand. What would be the advantage just, of doing just this? Just the style, you know, when they punch you, you sit back. Deck. Oh, I <laughs> see. You <laughs> make yourself all kind of rubbery. Yes. So? And then they hit you, and you just sort of like. Yes. You. No. Am I doing it well right now? Am I doing it? Very good, very good. You know, I, don't see how this would, I don't see how this would help me in a fight, exactly. <laughs> so what you're telling me to do is smile and then go like this. <laughs> That's going to get me into more fights in New York City. <laughs> um, you and I have something in common. You don't like anyone messing with your hair. Is that true? In a fight scene, you really don't like people touching your hair. Is that true? No. No, it's the joke. You know, it, when I make a movie, the hair list, you know, Take care of my hair. He right, always right. bother me and bother me, bother me. Then I say, okay, okay. One day I talk to people, say, you can beat me up, you can kill me, but don't touch my hair. Like, <laughs> right, like, right. Like, like you, right? Right, yeah. I hate when I'm about to go do the show, a lot of people come out and they're always touching this beautiful thing. And I'm yeah. like, leave it alone, back off, let the master do his thing. That's what I say. <laughs> when you, don't laugh at that. When you work, <laughs> when you, it's very difficult when you work with people who are not martial artists, other movie stars who haven't been trained, you have to be extra careful with them, don't you? Yes, of course. Like the first time I worked in the States, uh, Lethal Weapon 4, with Mel Gibson. With Mel Gibson, you work with Mel so Gibson, So the director huh? first time tell me, is a Jet, you can do everything, but I cannot hurt Mel. Don't hurt Mel. Yeah, right, but right. the first day I work with Mel, I'm very exciting, you know, work with a huge star. And I right, right. move very quick. Right. After move, Mel said, wait a minute. How many hits? How right. many movements? Right. I said seven. He said, why? I only saw two. Right, I right. I only saw two. Because I'm... <laughs> Look at how fast, <laughs> fast I can... Fast. I can do that too. <laughs> so, Look how fast I am. Yeah, you see you that? Too. Because you were drunk. <laughs> well, I am drunk. <laughs> but... <laughs> you can smell it. <laughs> Sorry. Peace before the show. Now you are um, you are you are 42 years old yes. and you are in incredible shape. You you seem like you'd be in the shape of like a 21 year old. How do you do that? How do you stay in shape like that? I meditate every meditate? day, mm -hmm. and uh, also I play some badminton. Badminton, <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
I'm not learning any of the things that I want to hear. Smile, act drunk, and play badminton. <laughs> what, uh, how does that, does badminton really help you? Yeah, it really helps because, you know, I can play any, anywhere I go. Right. You know, with one people is enough. Right. Not, a, not, a, not a, like a ba basketball, you know, you need a five people, ten right, people, right. player, you know. Badminton, you can play anywhere, and it probably it's good hand-to-eye coordination. You can and... control your body, you know, move. Right, Keep right. Out of shape, yeah. Right. That's, that's fascinating. I'm going to start taking up badminton, <laughs> and then people are going to really beat me up. Uh... <laughs> Now, we mentioned this already, but this movie unleashed its interesting idea that you are basically someone who was trained. In the, in the movie, your character was never really taught to, to speak or communicate or have emotions. Your character yes. was just trained to be an attack dog and fight. Yes. And then uh, you end up meeting uh, Morgan Freeman, and he tries to help you. But through a good part of the movie, you have to be someone who, in, for all intents and purposes, is a vicious animal. How did you train for that as an actor? How did you prepare? Uh, I played more than 30 movies. Right. always played tough guy. Right. This first time I played, you know, mentally only 10 years old. Right. I need the first thing I need to work with the acting coach, forget who, who Jet Li is. Right. Then I just... Forget, forget Jet Li completely yeah, become completely this other person. learning this Danny's world. Right. But uh, I stay in this world for seven months. I got a very pinfall, you know. I got a very hurt. Right. Afterwards, I... The whole year, I didn't make movies. So, I I, so a... because it was such a drain to do this one character that afterwards you decide, I'm not going to make a movie for a year. I just have yeah, to... Yeah, very pimple right. in the character. Right, right, to be that person. And also must be hard for the people around you. Yes. When make, you're, make with, because a... you become these characters, and then other people have to... You, don't, you take it home with you at the end of the day of shooting, probably. You yeah, know? you know, my lawyer, my manager, everybody say, hey, Jet, this is the next movie. We want to talk about it. I say, Get out of here. I'm Danny. I'm not Jelly. I don't want to talk about movie business. I only focus on the hair. I'm right, Danny. Right, Danny. Right, right, Everything. right. Yeah. Well, they live in Hollywood. I'm, they're in the industry. <laughs> I'm sure they know what an attack dog is like, so they'll be fine. <laughs> but it must be still very weird for them, I would think, you know, for people to be around you when you're in that kind of phase. Yes, very hard for them. You, um, when you first came to the United States from China, yeah. you, uh, you performed... This is 1974, yes. is that right? Yes. You performed as part of a show at the White House, and the president was, was President Nixon at the time. And during that period of time, there were very hostile, cold relationships between the United States yeah. and China. When you came to this country they, and you stayed in a hotel room, uh, they, they bugged your room. Is that true? Yeah, that's what I heard in, in, when I was in China. Right. Because at that time, two countries not very close. They don't understand each other. So, but I and they and so they're, they're, they I went were, to the hotel. I, right. I tried to say they have a real have a bug in the day somewhere. Right. I talked to the mirror, talk to the flower, say, <laughs> you, 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 yeah, I want a chocolate. I want a, <laughs> I want a ice cream. You want chocolate? You want Choc ice cream? Yeah, I want a banana. Yeah. So next morning, you know, when I go to the demonstration, I go back, open the door. I shocked. Everything I ordered, I asked these other people. <laughs> Just really? They yes. got it for you? Well, that's very nice. That must have yeah, made you nice. think, well, the United States, not so bad. Yeah, All right. very good. At least they're, it's like you're a jack-in-the-box. At least they're listening. That's nice. Uh, well, Unleashed opens next Friday. And uh, really, very cool to meet you. I've always really wanted to have you on the show. So Me thank too. you so much for being here. Me too. Yeah, continued yeah. success. Jet Li, let's check in again. We're going to check in with Jose and Dan at the Borgata Hotel in Atlantic City. And I think they've got Sammy Hagar is doing a guest <laughs> pull for us. There we go. Let's see. What's up, Cone? I'm going to win you some money, brother. There you go. Five bucks. Nice. Okay, All right. Thank you very much, Sammy Hagar, everybody. Yeah. Thank you, Jet Li. Jennifer Esposito coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Stick around.